Wonder Woman 3 won't fly in the new DC Universe, despite Gal Gadot teasing development plans, exclusive is a third Wonder Woman movie on the way from Warner Bros. and DC Studios? Not quite. Despite recent comments from Gal Gadot claiming DC heads James Gunn and Peter Safran told her they would develop Wonder Woman 3 together, sources with knowledge of the situation tell Variety that is not the case. According to the sources, a third Wonder Woman film is not in development at DC Studios nor do Gunn and Safran have plans at this time for any Wonder Woman project in the new DC Universe other than their previously announced Paradise Lost prequel series for Max. Gadot first suggested that Wonder Woman 3 might not be fully dead in an interview with ComicBook.com. I love portraying Wonder Woman, she said. It's so close to and dear to my heart. From what I heard from James and from Peter is that we're gonna develop a Wonder Woman 3 together. The actor made a potential future for Wonder Woman 3 appear even more likely during a recently published profile by Flaunt magazine. In this interview, Gadot said she was assured by Gunn and Safran that Wonder Woman 3 would be developed. I was invited to a meeting with James Gunn and Peter Safran, Gadot said, and what they told me, and I'm quoting, you are in the best hands. We're going to develop Wonder Woman 3 with you. We, love you as Wonder Woman, you've got nothing to worry about. So time will tell. The sources added to Variety that nothing was ever promised to Godot regarding Wonder Woman 3, nor was there any definitive discussion of Godot's Wonder Woman continuing with the new DC Universe. Gunn and Safran gave a presentation at the start of the year unveiling the first titles in their new DC Universe, including Superman, Legacy, and they continue to be laser-focused on these new films. Variety has reached out to Godot's representative for further comment. Godot originated the role of Wonder Woman in Zack Snyder's DC Universe, debuting in Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice before leading her own two standalone films, Wonder Woman and Wonder Woman 1984. Godot's Wonder Woman also appeared in Justice League and had cameos in DC films such as Shazam! Fury of the Gods. Her two standalone Wonder Woman films were directed by Patty Jenkins. The two were developing Wonder Woman 3 together before Gunn and Safran were named the new heads of DC Studios. Last December, news broke that Wonder Woman 3 had fallen apart after Warner Bros. leadership passed on Jenkins' treatment for the sequel. Jenkins publicly exited the project. The news hit shortly after Gunn and Safran took the reins of DC Studios and announced they would be overhauling the DC Universe, which led to speculation that Jenkins had rebuffed efforts to reshape Wonder Woman 3 to fit into their DC Universe. I never walked away. Jenkins shared in a post on Twitter. I was open to considering anything asked of me. It was my understanding there was nothing I could do to move anything forward at this time. DC is obviously buried in changes they are having to make, so I understand these decisions are difficult right now. Roughly an hour after Jenkins posted her statement, Gunn supported her on Twitter, replying, I can attest that all of Peter and my interactions with you are only pleasant and professional. Back in January when Gunn and Safran met with press to unveil the first chapter of their new DC Universe, dubbed Gods and Monsters, they announced the only Wonder Woman-related project that's currently in development. That's Paradise Lost, a prequel series for Max. The show, which Safran described as a Game of Thrones-ish story, is set on the island of Themyscira before the birth of Wonder Woman. It's really about the political intrigue behind a society of all women, Safran added about the project. Godot's recent comments on Wonder Woman 3 were made before the SAG after a strike during her promotional tour for the Netflix spy thriller Heart of Stone, streaming August 11th.